Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Gotland. We're making pretty damn good progress. We've got campuses coming up. We've got infrastructure building. We've got an army almost ready now to declare war on the Khmer. And while we are pretty damn far behind, we're a solid eight techs behind the tech leader and about a hundred science behind. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Like, I feel like we're going to be able to pull it through. It just is going to take a little bit of time. So my confidence is high, my morale is high, I'm ready to go. Now the thing I don't like <laughs> is that I'm having to deal with this barb camp. Good God, I'm trying to like get my units up to uh, the useful part of the map. But that barb camp has just been a, been a massive thorn in my side for the last good, good while now. My real big hope is that this war with the Khmer will do everything I need in order to snowball and sort of you know, really be in the game properly. I think I think I just kill essentially the Khmer. I take the minus five Diplo favor. I take the uh, I take the penalties, right? I'll even throw in that military emergency, see if people want to go up on it. Cause Tamara is pretty far away from me, I believe. I can't remember where she is. Yeah, she's all the way over here. So if I could get a few people to declare war on her, that might slow her down a bit, maybe distract them a bit. I'll get some friendships and stuff. We got our consulate and it would be good to work on the chancery more. Again, because we got Kilwa, we scale really hard off of having suzerainty of some of these city-states. If I could get a couple of industrial city-states under my belt as well, that would be huge for building my infrastructure. I also think it's about time that I evangelize my religion. I am gonna have to sacrifice like a decent amount of my faith that I would like to use in the war, but I think that's worth it because there are some good beliefs left, I believe. <laughs> there are some beliefs left, I believe. Nice meme. I think we're just about ready now to declare this war, so let's go ahead and get a formal war going. I'll talk to Gilgamesh, see if he'll give me a military alliance. Would he even pay me? He'll pay me a very small amount of gold, and I'll see if he can join my war, and he'll only make me pay thingy. Oh, he hasn't actually met the Khmer. Ah, okay. So if he hasn't met the Khmer, he can't actually help me in this war, but that is what it is. Get this city surrounded. We definitely want to look for pillages here. Um, we need to get as much value as possible out of this war. So things like pillages are going to be huge. And then it might be worth my while um, to consider a mass cavalry push into the Cree. And if I can get a mass cavalry push into the Cree, I could potentially end up with a lot of pillaging. Okay, so the military emergency didn't pass. That's fine. We picked up a really high adjacency all, campus, which makes me very happy. Lots. And we have cartography, so our fishing boats are generating me more gold. The library's worth five science, so we'll get that underway. And the university's worth 10 science, so we'll get that one going as well pretty shortly. All right, the potential exists here for me to clear this camp, which I need. I kind of need that to happen. Uh, let's buy this tile. Finally place the campus in here. It's a 45 turn build on that campus. Oof. Let's get the industrial zone. Well, we scale really hard off of campuses. So now let's uh, evangelize our beliefs twice. Pray to God that the good ones are still there. So we could pick up cross-cultural dialogue for the extra science. We could also pick up world church to help our culture. Let's see here, holy waters, crusade, religious colonization, scripture. I think scripture is okay here. It'll help my spread a little bit. And then, ooh. My culture is honestly kind of okay, but I think getting the extra culture here would help out a lot. That's 20 culture per turn I just picked up from my religion. Now that could have been 20 science per turn, but I have more confidence in my ability to um, sort of build up my science in a traditional way. So I'm less concerned about that. Let's get as much experience as we can in our units. We'll kill with you. That should trigger a level for you. Awesome. We will keep that city and I'll just use Magnus to garrison it. And we'll kind of like work our way up to the Northeast. I'm gonna bring this warrior up to be a garrison here in a second too. He has bomber. Cards, which is uh, interesting. We put him seriously behind and he's actually still doing fine, which is a bit baffling. We definitely need a granary, or not a granary, sorry, we need a granary and an aqueduct in this city before we even consider doing anything with it. More units spawned, disperse the clan. Perfect, they fortified there, it's your best chance of survival. Uh, I'd like to kill this bombard. Can I, how many units can I get to hit? And I can get two coursers to hit it. It's got grape shot is a bit of a problem actually, but I can soften it up a smidge. I think I hold for a turn, let it shoot me, and then I shoot it and attack it with my three cavalry, and then we can we can kill that bombard and get it out of the way. If I if I attack it now, it'll just retreat back to the city, which is what I don't want. I kind of okay, retreat it back anyway. So that could work in my favor. All right, vampire is dying. All right, I'm gonna use the vampire to kill here because if the vampire dies, he just gets kicked back to the nearest city or vampire castle. Their government plaza is completed. We've got good potential damage here. City is under siege. We'll get two. Yeah, we'll get two really good. Well, we'll get like. One, two, three, four, five. Five really good shots on this city next turn. Actually found Japan all the way over in Spain. And this is their uh, new capital. It looks like they've been hit hard by someone. Now, my crossbowman took a hit there. 
So I'll have to make a decision about what I do with him. Well, let's open up with the correct first moves. And that's to attack with our two artillery pieces and then the two unhurt crossbowmen. And the question is, I'm definitely pillaging here for the culture. It's 120 culture. I could feel pretty safe attacking this city aggressively, but I'm gonna hold because I would like to get depredation on these coursers. That opens up a lot of potential, a lot of potential pillaging with cavalry against um, the Cree. If I can get nationalism pretty quick, I'm gonna actually prioritize nationalism here because I think cavalry corps running around inside his territory pillaging would be a great way for me to slow down the uh, current tech leader, but also to kind of boost myself up. The, pill the pillaging gameplay is actually so good. Um, I've become a much bigger appreciator of how strong pillaging can be. As expected, we're taking hits, but it's okay now because we're getting free XP. Who do I want experience on? I think it would be good to get experience on this Courser and on my Trebuchet. So I'll attack with the Trebuchet and then attack with the Courser. Boom. City is mine. Let's get that Eagle Warrior over for a garrison. I don't have any other crappy units. No, I don't. And we got the chance to be in our capital, which gives us a lot of extra influence per turn. So we're going to be, we're going to be churning out those relationships. Um, my capital does not have enough amenities and it scales really hard off of amenities. So entertainment complex it is. And then possibly a commercial hub there. I think the commercial hub is fine. It gets me closer to a high adjacency on this campus. Ooh, that should have been a theater square. Yeah, that should have been a theater square. Okay, that was a small mistake. But then again, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Finally, we got our campus in Aberdeen, which means library time. Our science is kicking off, feeling really good about it. Um, a couple of missionaries or even inquisitors would be good. Let's do this. We'll go for an apostle, start an inquisition, get an inquisitor over here, clean these cities out of any potential heresy. Purge the unclean, kill the heretics. All right, there's a pike and shot there, so gotta play just a little bit careful here. Now that city can shoot and it's gonna be shooting at bombard strength. So we've got our work cut out for us. Do I need or want any more builders? I reckon a builder or two here just to close out the era is the right move. The era is almost over. This guy almost has the depredation promotion, which makes pillaging really value. Oh, you know what I could do? I could buy this tile and then upgrade you to a bombard. And that way I can push this city with two bombards next turn. Now this city, this city got much stronger. There's something in it, bit of a problem. But again, nothing we can't deal with. We'll start an inquisition. A little bit of era score gets me out of that dark age I was heading to. Entertainment complex in the capital, but now positive amenities. Let's get that arena for another plus two. And then the stupa for another plus one. Keeping those, keeping those amenities high. Like we're getting 10 production from having high amenities here. It's just really, really good. Chain purchasing builders as the era ends because I won't have much more efficient stuff to spend my builder charges on or uh, my my faith on soon I think I can safely step forward with these bombards now even if that city has a pike and shot if I bring my courser here it makes my life a little bit easier put my knight there more adjacency well no if I move my knight here actually maybe use the crossbowman as bait Mm, I don't know about that one. We took a pretty hefty hit, 31 damage. This guy's about to get a promotion though, so he can probably tank one more hit and we can slowly but surely take down these Khmer cities. I don't think attacking makes sense here. They fortified. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We're making progress. World enters into the industrial era. Now we're only in a normal age, so we won't be able to do much in the way of things, but I reckon, I reckon we're heading into the industrial era. We're about to start building industrial era buildings. So we could get a lot of era score from Heartbeat of Steam. So we'll take a shot with you. Boom, three XP. We're gonna promote you with crew weapons because that'll get us close to the shells and your main job is to shoot cities. So that's what we want you to do. Make sure we surround that city. You garrison there. University completed in Cullen. Awesome. City's cranking out science now. All right, another pike and shot appeared. It's okay. We just have to deal with it. Picked up a bit of free experience on this guy. Let's retreat him back now. There's no point really having the city under siege until we have the walls down. But the help just recovers anyway. But we have brought the walls down pretty decently here. You know what I reckon? I reckon if I put a golf course here from Cullen, that would actually give me four of these really, really high appeal tiles. I think I give this tile to Dumfries because it just needs a workable tile. Let me improve it. it. will help the city grow, give it gold, all that jazz. All right, we've got a Domri on the way. We're taking hits from a pike and shot. Now what I can do is move both of these boys to the left and do serious damage to that Domri. We can continue to smash that city. Boom. I think I kill the Domri because the potential for bad outcomes for me here if that Domri lives and shoots my catapult. I think we just accept that that knight may die. 
Let me use our use our crossbowman to tank the city and do damage here. What could I faith what could I faith purchase to help me out here? Uh, let's see. Don't need a man at arms. I don't have the faith for a or the knighter for a musketman rather. I feel like a man at arms would actually help here. Pike and shot is pretty strong. Man at arms could hold it though. But that was just that's just another unit that will use up knighter. Hmm. You know what? I reckon another knight or two. Another couple knights. They're not quite as good at pillaging, but they are pretty tanky. I'm gonna spend my money on a shipyard here. It uh, it will significantly upgrade the capability of this city to, you know, work these coastal tiles. It gives it a little bit of production, helps me snowball. All right, so the crossbowman tanked like I was hoping. Cool. Can I get the walls of this city down this turn? I don't think I can, unless I get lucky. Nah, crossbowmen just don't cut it. They fall back. Can I kill this guy? I could actually, you know what? I might be able to get another builder here. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. Fortunately, this city is in the danger zone for dying here. So I think we do this. You fall back to the city to heal. And we've almost got the city down. We're up to plus four amenities in the capital. And you know what I think? I think the commercial hub, extra trade routes are gonna are gonna help a lot here. Probably should have gone for trade routes way earlier, um, truth be told. Haven't played perfectly. Really, really my problem is I just haven't had the production or, or growth really. Like for some reason I, I have like quote unquote good growth lands, but I just haven't been seeing the uh, the dividends that, that that should be paying me. And the good news is I can use Sterling, my capital city, as a way to boost cities that are bad. So I think I move this trader to Montrose and I trade with my capital, which will give me a ton of food and production. Where wants peace, I refuse. I think he just took Susan to give someone Mitla. All right, it's fine. All right, nice. We got an enemy city to convert in war, which is really, really cool. Does that give me a, give, gives you a ton of error score to convert cities during war. Let's continue to smash the city. Walls are almost down. It's not safe to attack though. And now it's a little bit too risky to attack the city. So we'll trade with the capital. We'll pick up six food and four production in Montrose, which will shave about 13 turns off that campus, which is huge. And now that we're in the industrial era, our next governor title will be going into the vampire thing again. And we can get set up for another vampire castle over here. We actually only just need to improve two more tiles. We've got that in the bag. Commercial hub had a good adjacency. Uh, okay, who needs help? What cities really need help? Dumbarton is really weak, so I'm gonna use a trader to boost that city. It's got terrible food and production. We'll get ourselves another trade route. Trade routes are how I how I save my empire here, I think. Boom, shooting the city. We're picking up a lot of experience on our units. Still not safe to attack, so we'll just keep it under siege. We're up to 200 signs per turn and the Kree have stagnated around 250. So we are very much so closing that gap, even though we're at war. But the, the nice thing is I haven't actually had to invest any like production into building this army. I kind of got it passively as I went throughout the game and all that damage I did to the Khmer earlier is now coming to fruition with this relatively easy war. Now it's a slow war, I'll admit that, but it doesn't really cost me much to be at war. Um, it's like a little bit of amenity, so I'm losing it on some yields because I'm not quite quite as high amenities in my cities that I should be. But that, in my opinion, is a very small price to pay to be able to expand my empire very easily. All right, I want a promotion on this guy because I want depredation. Makes pillaging way easier. We'll keep that city. The loyalty in here gets harder and harder. So rebellion in eight turns, that probably will rebel. Kind of, this is kind of what's going to happen. The city is just too high pop. Now I lost suzerainty of someone important to me and I think it was Hattusa. So I need to grab that back because it's a lot of science I'm missing out on and the extra strategic resources that I otherwise would be missing as well. So I think Roxborough could probably make me an entertainment complex here. I don't want to spend that money though. Mm. And that's the best tile for it because then I could do a theater square here and then the city is great at churning out stuff. Maybe I could build a couple of reinforcing units. Not a bad productive city. I could also get my factory up. 15 turns, good production. Yeah, I could use a couple of reinforcing units. Don't really have a good campus in Scone. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't really have a good campus in Scone or Scone or whoever they pronounce it. So I might just throw down a couple districts here. Campus and commercial hub, but then actually prioritize getting another settler or two over here. More cities means more problems, but it also means more yields. Then again, it's really late into the game. It's getting to the time where I need to start thinking about my space race. Should I really be expanding? I think it's a bit late into the game to be expanding now that I think about it, but I will get that commercial hub. Now my supercharged vampire is coming up and I'm about to get access to line infantry. And since I do have a musketman, I will be able to instantly upgrade him into a line infantry with a bit of gold. But that gold is reserved for this tile, at least in the short term. So I could boost the appeal of another one of these tiles up to where it should be. A little bit of culture, a little bit of faith. Once I have nationalism, my uh, my options for war open up a lot. No There's military no science, perfect. No we can get military academy and line infantry. Also, uh, Cavalry, depredation, 
Okay, this thing auto spotted me on spawn. That's great. Well, that was that has good tidings. So I think I just work on taking out his capital here. Gonna hold hold position for a little bit of time. Get my unit upgrades. Maybe sell a bit of resources to the AI to pick up extra tech. 200 gold off Zhao of Portugal. 205 gold off of Tamar. A couple extra luxuries off Katarja. 320 gold off of Gilgamesh. Plus one gold per turn, maybe? Maybe two? Oh man, he's paying all the way up to three gold per turn for this. Yoink. All right, you offer good prices for tea. So 20 gold per turn, I'll take all of that plus this. 185 gold plus 10 gold per turn for two luxuries. Now I should have the money I need to start upgrading some of these units. The Corsair upgrade alone, right, brings that up to a 62 combat strength unit, which is a massive boost. Also, look at this capital, 78 production. This is the giga capital, dude. This is the power of the vampire castles. If you have bad lands in your capital, just go vampires, right? You can just boost yourself. My question is here, do I realistically have anything that I want in Cullen? I could maybe go for a harbor. It'd be an extra trade route and then I wouldn't infringe upon this land. The extra trade route would be nice and I don't really need anything else in here. Everyone wants me to go to war with Vietnam for some reason. I don't understand why. I guess my culture is terrible and she's probably like, she's not even running away with a culture victory. Oof, all right, we lost a knight, that hurts. Not the end of the world though. Pause, we can do this. Disperse this clan instantly, kill you. You go here, become a cavalry. I think I'm gonna approach this city from this direction, like up here-ish. Run a courser around, do some pillaging. Got my line infantry in position too. He has renaissance walls, which means this is gonna be a very long and slow grind through his walls, but that's fine, that's fine. All right, what city needs help? Scon could use help, but some of these newer cities, like these freshly settled boys, they're gonna need some serious assistance. Um, how do you feel about letting me purchase something? Mm, cavalry, more cavalry would be good. I could combine it together with existing cavalry. Seems good to me. I think it's time I got my factories up. I am getting coal, so I could probably afford one coal power plant in my capital. Sitting on two envoys, I have a Tusa, I have Nalanda. Whatever that's that um that industrial city state that I was thinking of taking is, it's gone. But if I put two into Buenos Aires here, I pick up a 15% production boost in my capital. Um, if I refresh this now. Boom, we're up to 92 production in this city. That's insane. So I think there's a military emergency targeting me here. And Movember, Poundmaker, Tamar, Jayavarman, pretty much everyone actually voted it up. The only person is Guitarja didn't and neither did Byzantium, which works out nicely. I do have to worry about this guy though, coming in with his big ass tech lead. And even just a couple of high tech units could make my life very difficult here. All right, we've got good coursers. We have depredation. I just need to combine. Let's get that kill there. Start moving up our units. Crossbowmen aren't super useful anymore, but they did the job that they needed to. A vampire is finally here, so he's going to be a big help. And I've got two more libraries coming up, which is going to be, I think, about six signs, five signs each, which is fantastic. Really am now. I'm now tech lead. Like, uh, by just a smidge, I'm just a scooch ahead. I am super behind on research, like total science produced, but I'm getting there. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the Cree were close to getting rocketry. Yeah, they're they're just about there. They've got one of these techs. So they're, they're close to rocketry, which puts me a bit behind, but the AI, eh, sometimes they struggle to actually pull off the space race itself. They get there pretty quick, but it takes them a while. I think I got another, I think I got another 100 turns before I lose this game, which should be plenty of time to snowball and kill the Cree. Or not, yeah to kill um, the Khmer rather, and then to pillage the Kree for resources. Gentle eruption, my God. I've been getting, I've been getting wrecked by these volcanoes all game. It's uh, it's kind of annoying. This, this holy site over here has been killed multiple times. This has only just started erupting and I don't like it. What is this spawn location? Oh my, f Jesus Christ. Why there? Whatever, we'll just have to accept that there's gonna be a barbarian horde running around our territory here. I can't I can't divert resources from the war. So let's step forward here. I want this niter big time. Kinda of wish pillaging, kinda of wish pillaging strategics gave you them. Let's pillage, boom, culture finished. There's nationalism, what we were looking for. Pillage again for the gold. I had a blank slate guy here. A tabula rasa of a um, cavalry. And I super want him to be a part of this core. I'll need another couple of cavalry. I have one being built. Get our bombards moving, almost in position. I think I'll send my crossbowmen to go deal with this barb camp that's popped up because they're not gonna be much use in the actual war aside from killing units, which it seems like Khmer just does not have a lot of units. Now that we have nationalism, we can look into advancing maybe to get neighborhoods and stuff like that. Kind of feel like public transport could be good for me this game. Um, I don't have a lot of really good appeal for neighborhoods though, so maybe that's not the move. Maybe I would go for, I know I'm going for civil engineering at least, so we'll head that way. Sitting on a governor title, this one's absolutely going into the Sanguine Pact. There we are. This guy just got a build charge. 
I'm going to use my gold here to do that. You harvest, then place the mine, and then you put down another vampire castle. That'll be another huge boost of production. Probably would be a good idea for me to remove and replace the current vampire castles I have to try to net myself even more production and maybe even move this vampire castle down to this location. I'd say that would be a pretty damn good move. All right, we're getting shot twice by this encampment and stuff. He wants to sell me a great work. I mean, I'll take it. I'd like siege units to be boosted. And I'd like units to actually be cheaper with production because then I could just go like mass infantry, mass cavalry and run over Kree. All right, so they're cheaper and siege are stronger. Okay, nine, that's yeah. perfect. This is exactly what I want. That's actually gonna trigger a change in my strategy here. You fall back to heal, you come over here, you pillage that, done. You pillage that, you come forward, you run through, you pillage that, you attack him. Good shit. A little bit worrying that you're surrounded, but you do have a farm. As long as you survive this turn, you can pillage farm and then continue pillaging. Pillage, 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 pillage. This is what I'm talking about. Once you have depredation, these cavalry become like an economic monster that just prints stuff for you. I don't think it's worth it to go for the Highlander here. I think it's just a bad unit. I would maybe go for one to get four error score, but aside from that, I think I'm better off just going for sewers. Lots of error score hiding in those sewers for me. And by hiding, I mean if I build them, I get plus one error score for each. Oh, please, Christ, just stop. Don't scout me, bro. Okay, we killed the scout. <laughs> Whew. Send the two crossbowmen to deal with that. The big problem I've got here is the lack of strategic resources. I need horses. Um, and the only horses that spawned near me were like here in a cad. Otherwise, I just had none. And all my niter is reserved for bombard so I can get stronger and stronger, uh, stronger and stronger artillery units. All right, Pike and Shot appeared. That's rough. Vampire was bombarded pretty heavily, but he did his job. He survived. You're here. All right, cool. Pillage that. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Could take science. I think I take the heal. Start working this city over. I think you step back. I faith purchase another uh, cavalry. You come over, you grab him. You've already got a bit of XP. Don't think I can safely keep you here. I mean, if a vampire dies, doesn't matter. I get them back and they just have to heal for a while. So I'm happy to sacrifice them. They don't perma die. It's, it's hard to perma kill a vampire. Just like in just like in real life, you know? And you know what? If you're gonna give me shit about saying that, show me evidence that you've ever killed a vampire in real life. That's what I'm saying, exactly. It's hard to do, okay? I want exactly zero comments about my vampire killing comment. All right, nice. The vampire is doing a great job, actually. It's tanking for my siege weapons. It's like working out perfectly, and then I can just pillage on him. Um, let's get this faith. Boom, boom. And then we'll camp you here to be ready to run in and continue to pillage. The science is up nearly to 300, and the Kree science is actually tanked, which is a good sign for me. I'm on track for a science victory. And this war may not have actually been necessary, but I, I, I do think it's fun. I think it's fun to have a war, you know? Maybe not all the time, maybe not forever war, but like getting a war into your games, a healthy snowball, you get to practice with units. I don't know. I think it just improves the, uh, the amount of fun I have in a game. If I, if I get to squeeze in a war, I'm happy. It's gotta be a chill war though. I don't want like a big stressful war where I have to like do a lot of micromanagement. All right, boom, right, vampire castle time. Click, delete. Now this is peak vampire castle, okay? Seven food and an ungodly 32 production slapped and clapped right into our capital city. Come over to my capital, 97.5, refresh, 139 production. Now, if you had any doubt before, if you had any doubt that the vampire castles were like a worthwhile pick, you you should there should be no doubt. If you're at if you're ever going to go to war and you want a strong capital, go vampires. It's they're so good. My capital is just overflowing with growth and production. All right, so we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of shenanigans going on here. I got to try and keep this guy from getting hit by too many of these pike and shots. You run in here, pillage, keep your adjacency. I do want you to get shot though. I want you to earn that little bit of experience. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Got the niter. I've got the niter to get a bombard. We got another cavalry just produced there. Boom, combine. Awesome, perfect. Uh, in terms of support units, I don't think there's much I can do really to help my war effort. Get a little bit more faith. Faith can be used to purchase units. I have a cuirassier. Mm, would be good actually to spend my iron. How much is a cuirassier? Am I blind? There it is. 560 faith. I can get, I, I can make that happen. I can do that. All right, nice. I actually got a tech boost from that because I think I'm allied with uh, Gilgamesh and I get tech boost from killing barb camps because I'm allied with him, which is actually kind of helpful. A little bit of extra science gets me ahead a little bit more. All right, very cool. Very, very cool. Very cool, Kanye. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I can rename, I can rename the vampires. Kanye. No, 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 not Kanye. 
Can Yeezy confirm? This is Can Yeezy. He just built the greatest, the greatest vampire castle the world has ever seen. Thank you so much, Can Yeezy. Whoa, what are my units? Died. Ah, they got a cavalry of their own. All right, that was to be expected that things like cavalry would start appearing to ruin my day. Boom. Boom. And then boom. Oh, I don't have the uh, shoot. I completely forgot to plug this in. The raid card. This is like a huge part of this strategy that I'm doing and I completely forgot to do it. It's not a big deal. Like we're still getting massive value, but we missed out on a little bit, like a good chunk of value there by not having that plugged in. Triangular trade is going to help my golden faith income, especially because my gold income is terrible because everyone declared war on me. Let's kind of renew that friendship there. Make sure that they, uh, they don't change their mind about me. Economic alliance. Thank you. All right. Can I safely attack with you? Take a couple shots from the city. You are a core. You take one hit from this guy. Yeah, I think I could safely attack there. Take shells. Boom. Got to deal with this guy. He's going to mess up my back line, which I don't like. Oh, he's messed up now, so we'll get rid of him in a sec. I clear this barb camp. Another vampire joins the fray. Join in the fray. I'm sitting on a governor title. Fishery. Surplus logistics. Um, I'm going to grab Victor. Um, loyalty stick, some of these cities over here. All right, what else we got available to pillage? It's a lot of farms. Oh, there's a mine there that we can get, nice. All right, we took a lot of hits on this guy as expected, but he should have two movement to get to that farm and pillage it. Oh, Jesus Christ, barbarians out of the fog of war. And this thing got absolutely murdered again. All right, cool. This is my favorite part of the game is repairing all my infrastructure from volcanoes. Easily my favorite. So you should be able to one, two, oh shit. It's not enough movement. Well, I'll tell you what, we can do this. You should be able to survive a hit from there. He shouldn't be able to reach you. Boom. Boom. Where did that cavalry go? Oh, for God's sake. All right, someone has infantry and now I have infantry. Which is a good thing too, because it makes these, these vampires way better. Or at least it should. Oh, right. I purchased it from a barb camp. It doesn't count. Um, Let's get our own infantry. Oh, it takes oil. Oh, that makes my life so much harder. I don't know if I've got oil here. I guess this is like the Caucasus or yeah. So there, there should be like a bit of oil around here. Where did that cavalry unit go? Did he kill himself on me? Maybe. All right, let's get rid of that musky boy. All right, we got Cree machine guns. <laughs> oh, Christ. Upgrade the field cannon. All right. That's what we're dealing with here. Cree machine guns. Thank God I have these guys promoted and fortified. That is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting machine guns this early. It's 1220 AD and the Kree are attacking me with machine guns. How long until I can piece you out? Three turns. So I gotta survive three turns from whatever potential insanity he's sending at me from the fog of war. <sighs> this military emergency is uh, it's not my favorite. I'll tell you that much. It's not my favorite. Oh, there's two machine guns. Cavalry, good, 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 good. He took a bunch of damage, but he survived and he got a promotion. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like Things are coming out. We got urbanization, kill that. You go there, then there, then promote. So you're nice and strong. You come here, pillage, pillage, and retreat to the farm to heal next turn. Good, good, good. We've completely destroyed his infrastructure. Boom, boom, up, up. Uh, am I at war with Georgia? Oh, fuck, I am. Well, I got a field cannon come out. And I do have units in the area, but they're not very good. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, maybe infantry is a mistake because I don't have oil. Uh, let's go for the Hail Mary flight into oil <laughs> and pray we find oil <laughs> so we can build biplanes. Let's go for mobilization, upgrade our army, universities, 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 um, force modernization, makes it cheaper to upgrade. Oh, yeah, there you are. That's where you were hiding. All right, I see. All right, the AI is really conspiring against me this game. I kind of like it though. It's a, it's a challenge. This game has been amazing. Major, major challenge. Faith purchase, a field cannon, whittle down those units. I feel like I've I've been kind of having the kitchen sink thrown at me and I'm only just barely staying above water. I'm, I'm like creeping up and getting ahead and then some setback happens and people target my city states and Domri, Domri, Domri. Okay, cool, you survived, awesome. It's your job, His, this guy's job now is to run around and gather experience by getting shot at, like his number one. Can you, if you go here, you cannot be shot. And so that is where you will go. Can you will shoot there. Vampire, I need your help down south. You have all of the good promotions. That should make it fairly safe for me to step out with you because I can do an 80 strength combat attack. This guy, however, does not have the promotion, so it is not safe to attack with you. God, insufficient resource. Yeah, that's really hurting my combat strength in this infantry. He'd make a good garrison unit though. Pillage, pillage. Good, 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 good. Could take a turn with you to combine. Now you're a 65 combat strength unit, so you do a significant amount more damage. Go hit that, hit that holy site for faith. I think it'll help. You know what? Let's do this. 
Some field cannons on the defense here. Purchase them. Combine them together. Try to up my power level on the defense. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I could sneak over to his cities? I reckon it's worth a shot. This guy's good. Pillage, pillage, pillage. Just gotta, I gotta make sure that he always ends near or on a farm so he can heal. But I was not ready for this. Oh, Christ. Okay, my vampire barely survived. This city is gonna fall. That's okay. Poor little scout in the water died. Now, you, this, is, this is like a little sneaky thing that... All right, so what did I get if they win? Combat strength when city striking me. Right, whatever, you can have it. So I'm gonna liberate this city. They'll get a nice boost. So here, here's a sneaky little thing you can do. You can step forward with a unit you want to shoot with. And if it's not upgraded into a core, you can step forward with a unit to pull it back a tile. There's all these like cool little micro moves you can do um, if you know what you're doing. All right, let's... Uh... Yeah, I don't think I can prevent... I don't see a melee unit nearby. So if I kill this... Oh, Christ. He could just on that city couldn't he i have to kill him then they don't have a melee unit nearby and then i feel kind of safe sitting in here all right so they're chasing my weak man at arms like i'd hoped i'm getting free shots as they leave the city of scum all right oh, christ i think i need to i think i need to take the city this turn to try to ease the pressure on my army and who wants the promotion you do really badly you can hide in here to heal keep that city reassign victor to it just barely on the edge of loyalty and I think with the capture of the Khmer capital and the endless war here, how do you, how do you guys feel about peace? They actually don't want peace, which is interesting to me. And there's a lot of units around here. So this cavalry corps has to play it very, very carefully. And I don't even feel safe with the number of units around. I'm going to stay outside of city range. I'm near a farm. I can get hit by one unit. I can heal and then run and look for another pillage angle. All right, let's get that kill there. Go for the weak units first, because they're easy kills. Easy kills, easy life. Vampire died. That just means I have to heal him up. Okay, it'll take about 10 turns. Yeah, I think it would be good to get a medic here. A lot of my units could use healing. I need Hattusa back. It's a big part of my science. I'm up to 266 science. We're taking out the Khmer. We're fighting off the Kree. We're getting ready to do some pillaging. Our southern border is quote-unquote secure. <laughs> uh, very generous quote-unquote right there. But at the very least, we're not bleeding and we're in with a shot at winning this game despite the fact that our start was absolutely dog shit. So I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!